So check this out. This is Aegis, the Aegis Tool Company. This is a Solo Neo, I guess is what you're calling this thing. I'll show you what it is. These are kind of cool latches. Neat. Nice case. A little flimsy, but it's nice. It's actually got a piano hinge, which is kind of cool. Looks like those rivets aren't that tight there. wonder if I could re-rivet those. All right, so here we are, guys. This is a tool that's supposedly going to be able to help me install windshields by myself. So I don't need a helper or an extra set of hand. Wow, it's a really smooth action. Now we got some CDs. I haven't seen a CD in a while. So this is the suction cup that mounts to your door. I got some tape on there. Wow, those are the same exact suction cups. Now, this kit here, this is also an Aegis windshield repair system. We've had this since the 90s. Okay, now look at that. <laughs> they haven't changed much in uh, a very long time. I think my father bought this kit in like 91. So this suction cup, I believe, is the original cup. See, and we've dropped this thing a bunch over the years, and uh, we've replaced the plunger piece. But as you can see, guys, that is the same, that is the same, basically the same thing. This is a Woods Power Grip. Those are actually really good cups. See how it says TL6 right there? TL6. So there's the same TL6 right there. So these are Woods Power Grips. Those are really good. I've got these Woods Cups too. And these, these are awesome. So that's basically the same. Right, no, that's an LJ6. So that one is a little bit bigger than the TL6. So anyway, long story short, that's really cool. I've had really good luck with this windshield repair system. So... That makes me more comfortable in buying something from Aegis, especially if you buy a quality tool that you've had for almost 30 years. So hopefully this tool will be of equal caliber. I mean, this feels kind of cheesy. But again, we've got more of the same cups. So that's kind of cool. I'm excited. Try this thing out. So I've got this apparatus on the door. It took actually a couple times to get it just right. Uh, I did have to trial run the windshield. So now I've got my urethane all applied to the pinch weld. We're going to set this windshield with this new tool here and uh, see how it goes. If anyone's wondering, this is a DW2498. This is a, uh, this is a new style GMC. I think it's like a 2021 or 2022. Show you guys what's going on with this windshield. How to set them by yourself. Um, the way I make my living is by replacing auto glass. Um, I'll do anywhere between 250 and 350 windshields a year. Um, but usually I gotta have someone come help me set the windshields. Um, with this tool, it's kind of a game changer. Um, I can do every step of the windshield process by myself. Um, so if this tool works out, it's gonna be really valuable, just like having an, an employee, basically. Um, but this one doesn't have time off and you don't have to worry about them coming in or not or if they feel sick and they don't show up to work so anyway I'll show you guys how this works so the reason I'm wearing gloves guys is because I've got the windshield all cleaned up and I don't want to have the oils from my fingers contaminate the surface that I just cleaned so let me just show you how this thing works Kind of takes a little bit to get used to. 
And I feel like once I get used to this thing, it's going to be pretty darn handy. As you can see, this side is held up. So now I can come and undo this tool here. That's pretty slick. This is an underside molding, and as you can see, there's a nice reveal all the way around now. I do have to go through and, and finish pressing this in, but I want to check it all out both sides, make sure Make sure the thing is centered to my liking. That's money right there, baby. That's awesome. Well, that was the first run with this thing, guys. I was a little clumsy with it at first, but I feel like that could be a pretty darn useful tool. I did that by myself, and I didn't need to call anybody to come help me set the thing, so that's success in my eyes. Oh, in case you guys were wondering, this is a... DW 2001. Wow, that cup almost came off because I was holding it and I hit that button. That could have been really bad. That's one thing that is bad about this system is that you really have to be careful. On this system, there's no second chances. And by that I mean, whenever you have someone else helping, someone else can kind of be your wingman per se, and they can watch what you can't see. I'm still getting the hang of this, guys. But uh, it's a good system, I think. It's just going to take some learning to get used to it. This one, this is a Ford, I believe it's a Ford Escape, like a 2019 or something. Uh, anyway, there's a reveal all the way around the windshield. And it's, it's imperative to set up that Solo Neo before. So you got to put the windshield in first and get that suction cup handler on the glass, on the door. Uh, line it all up, because this gap here, if the urethane touches and then you have to move it one way or the other... It's going to be a mess and you're going to see it. And I pride myself, you know, on really clean installs. So you don't see any urethane gooing out from the inside. It's clean all the way around. And that's what I love. Okay, here we go. We got a 2000, I think it's a 2002 Toyota. This time around. Now, I'm doing it on the driver's side this time, obviously, but uh, I'm doing that because we've got an antenna that's in the way. And sometimes those antennas don't come off very easy, so we're going to leave the antenna right on and use the driver's side. Just like that, it works great, guys. Okay, so we've got a new Toyota Highlander here. Urethane's all on the windshield, ready to go. I used to use gloves, but I modified my technique now, so I've got more suction cups on the back of the glass. So I don't really have to use gloves anymore because that's just another expense. Anyway, in case you guys are wondering, this is an FW 3878, and I'm getting the hang of this thing now. I've installed, I don't know, a dozen windshields with this thing, and uh, pretty darn cool, I do have to say. It's a cool tool to have. So.
Now, the only problem with this tool is that you have to put the windshield in first and adjust this thing so that the windshield lines up perfectly. Um, it's an added step, but it, you know, it's just part of using this tool. So I did buy another set of these um, just because these match perfectly to the suction cup for the door mount. Now I kind of figured in the back of my mind, someday if these things, if they change the design or whatever, and one of these fail, I'll still be able to, you know, have a spare kind of a backup type of deal. So this came with a set of two. And these are actually really nice cups. These are Woods Grips. Um, Aegis makes these. So overall, guys, I'm very happy with this tool. Um, it's It makes doing this job a true one-man show, which there's something to be said about that in this industry because finding help is near impossible. And it takes, you know, we've hired, we have used to have like three or four guys working for us doing this stuff. And uh, it truly takes like a year to train somebody. So that, that's kind of a problem, especially whenever we got to lay them off in the winter time when things get slow. It takes about a year to actually train somebody to the point where they can be self-sufficient. Meaning I can leave a vehicle here in this bay and you know I can have my guy do the work and then I can come back and it's all good. There's no issues or anything like that. So this kind of stuff here, um, it's a little expensive for what it is. This right here is like 1500 bucks, um, with the extra suction cups and the solo Neo. It gives, this gives you the opportunity to be self-sufficient. So you don't have to rely on anybody to do this kind of work, which, you know, there's something to be said about that. So here we've got a Volkswagen Passat 2248 foreign windshield. So whenever I put this in drive for the first time, what I do is and I've already got this adjusted but what I do is I basically take take and set the windshield in tape it I'll lock the arm here and then I can readjust this door assembly to line up with this rod and that seems to work pretty darn good so what you do is once you've got this set up you can then take, put it there, and you can double check your spacing all the way around the windshield. And then once you know it's lined up, then it's just a matter of taking the windshield out. And you've got the perfect adjustment. I don't know if you can tell the difference from my earlier installs, but I'm really getting the hang of this thing now. And it really, like, it really makes these installs go so sweet. Like, this is tr a truly a one-man job now, which is awesome. All right, so here it is a bunch of months later. I've got a 2002 Volkswagen Passat. As you can see, I'm doing a rear window. And uh, I just wanted to show you guys, this Solo Neo can also work really well for uh, other applications other than just windshields. This car, believe it or not, I just put a windshield in this thing. The guy's hood opened up and mashed his windshield out. So anyway, a couple weeks later, we're doing the back window as well. So anyway, I'll show you guys how this works.
Okay. This one you just kind of have to thread the needle, get it underneath the trunk. Be very careful. Hey guys, this tool has been probably one of the best things I have bought for the value. Uh, I didn't know how I was going to feel about it at first, but this tool has been incredible. And it really does allow me to do these jobs 100% by myself, um, which there's something to be said about that, especially in today's climate, trying to find employees. I mean, this thing really opens up possibilities and opportunities for me to work without help. Okay guys, so here we are about a year later. Still using the same Aegis Solo Neo. And I'll just go to show you here. This is a little Mini Cooper. I'm putting a windshield in. I'll show you how uh, this thing still works great. And I'm getting a lot more efficient at it now. I've had some practice. I think it's been 260 windshields later. So here we are guys. I'll show you what's going on. So there it is, guys. Guys, this tool has saved me a lot of money over the cost of having to hire an employee to do some of these jobs. Most every windshield I can do with this tool. So this thing is a lifesaver, guys. Definitely worth the money. And uh, I'll probably buy another one You know, as soon as this thing starts having issues. Hopefully that'll be a little while to go. But... I'll probably buy another one just to have as a spare because <laughs> they're so handy to have.